Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Ubuntu VM in VirtualBox. I'm also going to enable the clipboard and drag and drop between the host and the VM which is very useful. And I'm going to put this VM in a NAT network and I'll show you how to set that up. And what that does is pretty much a virtual network that if you create other VMs and put it in that same network, they'll be able to communicate with each other. And the whole reason for that is because I'm going to be releasing another video and it's going to be setting up a PHP login system and it's going to be using this Ubuntu setup. So let's get started and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so to get started, you just need to download the Ubuntu ISO and you can find that at ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. I'm going to be downloading the latest version that's out there, so yours might be different depending on whenever you're watching this. These are the system requirements that it recommends. I will be, it does recommend four, but I will be using two gigabytes of RAM just because I don't have enough resources for four gigabytes for all the machines that I plan to be testing later on at the same time. So uh, use whatever you feel more comfortable with. It does recommend two gigabyte processor memory and 25 gigs of free storage. So once you have that downloaded, go to your virtual box manager. So just click the new button. It'll present you with this prompt. Select the name that you would like to name it. I'm doing Ubuntu 3 just to, see, just to keep the same naming conventions as my other ones. Uh, select the machine folder that you'll like the files that it's gonna be creating to be saved at. These you keep default if it's Linux and Ubuntu. Just click next. I'm going to be changing this to two gigabytes. Remember, it does recommend four, so you can put 4,000, uh, but I'm just going to do two, at least two, because if it's lower than that, you can't even run Firefox on it. So two, and of course, I recommend it four is fine. Just click next, create, next. I, I select dynamically allocate it. It has a description right here if you need to find out the difference. Click next. Right here, I'm going to change it to the recommended 25 gigs, the default. It prompted me was 10, but that is too low. Um, so I would say at least 20 if you're tight on space, uh, because if you do lower than that, you probably gonna have issues uh, whenever it goes into creating it. Um, you'll get some errors and it, and it won't run. So I'm gonna do 25 gigs and I do have some net networks that I'm gonna create it. And that's pretty much just a little um, local virtual network that I have these machines on and that allows them to talk to each other. For example, once I have this web page set up on Ubuntu 3, I can load up Ubuntu 2 and I can visit that uh, web page by just entering the um, IP address of Ubuntu 3. If you don't have a NAT network, just go to File Preferences, Network, create a new one. If you double click on it, you create the name of it right here and you can enter the IP cider right there. Um, I'm going to delete it because I don't need it. So once you're here, just go to make sure it's highlighted and go to Settings, go to Network, NAT Network, and select the one that you just created. I'll go to System, I'm going to change this to two, two CPUs. That way it runs a little bit better. So once that's set, I'm going to go to general. I'm going to go to the um, advanced tab. I'm going to select the clipboard to be bidirectional and the drag and, drop, drag and drop as well. And this will be part of the setup for allowing me to copy and paste between my host machine and the VM. There'll be a couple more steps we need to do once we have it running to have it enabled. Select OK. And now I'm going to select start. Right here, if you've already had some set up before then it'll present you with the last one that you um, select it but just to show you in case you don't uh, just select the little uh, folder right here it'll take you to this page click add it'll uh, take you to your file explorer and then select the folder that has your iso and then select the iso and just click choose and it should show it right there um, it should say ubuntu and then whatever version you have Select start, just press enter. I'm gonna kind of zoom through these so there'll be some fast forward editing because there's a lot of loading and just boring default stuff. All right, so it should give you this default page. I'm gonna go install Ubuntu, select the language that you like. Select continue at the bottom, continue, install now, uh, continue. Select your region, it doesn't matter too much. Computer name the username which is going to be the user and then select the password so i'm keeping mine ubuntu 3 um, you have a weak password it's just a vm so it doesn't really matter too much um, i just selected to require password at login that doesn't matter too much either select continue and then it'll start the installation process this does take a while so i'm just fast forward through this all right the installation took i don't know maybe like seven or ten minutes felt like three hours uh, but now it's done 
prompt you with this, select restart now, press enter. All right, and now you can log in with the credentials that you created earlier. Uh, you can sk skip all this. And uh, the first thing is we're gonna do a sudo app update. So go to the terminal, and I'm gonna change this to um, to be bigger in a little bit. But first, uh, let's just do a quick update. All right, so uh, sudo app get update to update it. And we're gonna finish the setup for allowing the copy and paste between the host and the um, VM. So for that, we're gonna do insert guest additions. And we're gonna finish that setup in a little bit. Uh, what I'd like to do is change this into a scaled view, that way it can be bigger. So I'm gonna to go to scale mode, and you can see the um, resolution's pretty wacky, so I'm gonna to go to display settings. Um, I'm gonna change this to that one. Click apply, uh, keep the settings. Now that looks a bit better. Open up the terminal, make this screen bigger right here. All right, so let's do the copy and paste stuff. Um, if you don't care about this, then um, you can just skip it, but I do find it pretty handy, especially if you're gonna be doing code stuff. Now we're going to install um, build essentials. You can do tab autocomplete if you need to. Click run, yes. All right, now we need to create some directories that we're gonna mount the uh, disk that we inserted a little while ago. So we're just gonna uh, make a directory and mount called CD-ROM. And then we're gonna mount the source of slash dev CD-ROM onto the new directory just created. We're gonna change to that directory, select ls, and now we can see that the files are mounted. And then the next command, we need to run as sudo, so just sudo space sh, and then uh, this file right there, click run, or press enter to run. All right, and now we're just gonna do uh, sudo reboot. Let's back up, just log in. And then I'm gonna open up a text editor just to show the copy and paste, make sure it's working. Just click activities, text editor. Then I'm gonna just copy something from my host and try to paste it and that works. So that's how you'll set up an Ubuntu machine in VirtualBox. I hope you found it useful. My next video is gonna be how to set up a PHP login portal on this Ubuntu system. So if you like to learn that, feel free to check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.